While the leaks and rumors continue on about Halo Infinite possibly switching over to Unreal as their main engine. Jess Corden recently posted a report about the recent findings of Halo Infinite possibly switching engines and I've been waiting a long time for this report as he's been doing some deep dives. Now when Sean W broke the news about all this stuff happening with Halo and stuff like that, initially Jess Corden actually shot it down saying most of this isn't true but then he actually found he deleted the tweet talking that saying that was not very accurate and actually has kind of doubled back on it and saying that he's actually kind of be thinking that this is actually kind of true. Then he'll talk more about it on his podcast, which obviously got promoted some way right there. But saying that if Tatanka truly has changed to Unreal, it would be utterly insane given how long it's been in development. It would move far beyond the original scope, which is to integrate your progression from Halo Infinite. Don't see how they could do that on separate engines, but maybe, I don't know. Obviously we're not game devs here, but he says also this, that the more I look into this, the more I think Sean Dub is right. Which again, this is referring more to a engine change rather than like Halo the Endless, as he talked about in his video being a brand new game. That was more speculation that he was talking about, but this possibly could happen. But we recently have had the leaks that Tatanka has been delayed till the end of 2024. Now me as a journalist if you will content creator i'm not a game developer i don't know how difficult that would be to switch from one engine to another but i couldn't imagine it being very easy and the reason why i've been waiting for jess corden's output when it comes to this recent leaks and information is because he's a very credible source he leaked plenty of things about halo Infinite that were all correct and well here's the article here on windows central saying is halo switching to unreal engine here's what we know saying in conversations with 343 industry staff past and present who've wished to remain anonymous, Halo Infinite's internal slip space engine has been blamed for much of the problems with the game's ongoing development. Two separate sources have described the launch state of slip space developers tools being non-existent, which is okay. That's a little concerning there. This certainly would explain why the rollout of content and updates have been so slow with this game. This is the slowest it's ever been. Even with your traditional Halo games we have for like 2, 3, and Reach, they had more updates. They had more content to dropped by this point. In Halo Infinite, it's barely, I don't even count it as getting by. And from what I've heard a lot of times when it comes to general sentiment about working at 343, that the atmosphere of working there is really cool because you get to work on some cool stuff and really cool people but I've generally have heard that the tool set is not very friendly as the slip space engine was built on top of the blam engine it's not completely torn down and built right back up from the beginning it's a bit of a more refined better version of the blam engine which every halo game has been developed on previously it's crazy to see how much 343 really hyped up the slip space engine to think that it would actually be able to keep up with the players wants and desires when it comes to a live service game but uh well we can definitely tell from the last uh almost 10 months now at this point that yeah it hasn't really done that just continues on saying initially i wrote off the report it didn't make a whole lot of sense to drop two plus years of work on tatanka to move it all across to a new engine but after speaking with sean w and doing some digging of my own it's certainly looking increasingly as though tatanka is either ditching slip space or was never on slip space from the outset which kind of would be interesting to see when certain affinity made that announcement that are doubling down their support for halo all their job postings suggested the unreal 4 engine experience being a benefit now I've been told that the Unreal Engine and Slip Space Engine use similar languages, but obviously Unreal is a much more fleshed out tool, it sounds like, compared to Slip Space. And could it be that Microsoft and 343 are putting all their eggs in this Tatanka basket to make sure that launches properly and integrates in with Halo Infinite? And if they see that Unreal Engine is a better option to use for Halo compared to Slip Space, and you want that to integrate into Halo Infinite, you can see why this engine change might actually happen. And following that logic, Jez Corn continues on in this article saying, some details on the concrete plan remain vague. We have some tentative indication that this change potentially extends across the whole franchise too, not just to Tonka. Moving to a more popular engine that has mature tools and perhaps more crucially, 
high levels of experience from the game developer workforce may be key to figuring out Halo's future. Obviously, if 343 wants to utilize the Unreal Engine, licensing fees come into play right there. And most times publishers try to avoid that and see if they can possibly create their own engine that have to pay other developers their little fair share. You saw this happen with EA trying to promote the Frostbite engine from Battlefield side of things and try to put it into other games like Mass Effect specifically, which we've heard from different reports that the development of the Mass Effect Andromeda game was kind of hellish because of having to use Frostbite. Switching to a new engine would also throw a big wrench into the development of say like Forge mode, could be a reason why it's been delayed for so long, we don't know. And also the future content that's going to be coming for season three and season four. Locking down a singular narrative on why this has been tough is hard to say. Some of the people I've spoken to lay blame on former game director Chris Lee, while others blame the studio head Bonnie Ross, the one constant area of irritation falls on the slip space engine. Obviously, Bonnie Ross has left recently. We'll see what happens with Pierre Heinz or Hintz, however you pronounce his last name, runs the show. Uh, though there are rep plenty of reports saying that Chris Lee really misled management at Microsoft and the up higher ups at 343 when it comes to the progression of Halo Infinite's development. It'd be the big reason why he got the boot and Joseph Staden came in to replace him. This next line from Jez, I think is really important for everyone to truly understand the, how the development of Halo Infinite is currently going right now. Saying, although if the game is indeed switching engines as rumored, it's essentially 81's guess just how much of the original plan will be retained. As in basically, a lot has changed when it comes to the development of Halo Infinite since the launch of the game. It's not going according to plan. I think we can all clearly see that. Are they still trying to do the 10 year plan with Halo Infinite? Is the only BR that they're concerned about the battle rifle? Well, I think that if you have any preconceived notions of what Halo Infinite is going to be in the future, uh, well, I'd probably just get rid of those completely because I think everything has changed when it comes to this game. Continuing on saying there have been some potential suggestions that the Endless may shift to Unreal Engine as well and become a standalone experience in its own right. Although we're unable to collaborate anything about the Endless at this time, which we have seen the trademark of the Endless get updated to mention like competitive online experiences kind of stuff, which sounds like a regular Halo game, right? And also Jess Corn did mention that 343 or just Microsoft in general are working on a non-Halo Infinite experience. We've talked about this before, and I think you've said this in other places, but you do expect 343 to make another game that's not Halo Infinite. Yeah, yeah, they are working on another project that isn't Halo Infinite. I know that much. Now, this leak was back in November, could be tied into the Battle Royale, or it was just a month right before the Halo the Endless trademark was set in stone. So, it could be something. Another notable gaming reporter, Jeremy Penterhair, tweeted this out, saying that I can confirm that many sources are saying this and very clear that it's already been decided that Halo is for sure switching to Unreal. I feel like it's I feel like it's time for other switches behind the scenes, including people leaving and their past problems. Unreal is a great choice. Jess Corden also ended off this article with proper expectations, saying, I would caution to take all of this with a pinch of salt, as he wasn't really truly able to get any kind of official confirmation from Microsoft. But he did state, there's no smoke without fire, and right now, there's a lot of fire. And I bet you Microsoft is fuming right now, not just because of Halo Infinite, but what's actually happening with Cyberpunk because of the popularity of the Cyberpunk Edge Runner show has really helped blow that game up, which is kind of crazy, which is exactly what didn't happen with the Halo TV show, which I cover in this video right here going up on Friday with all those details you need to understand. Make sure to set your reminders for this premiere on Friday, guys, and I'll catch you in the chat for that video. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.